the crashing waves of one of Cape Town's most scenic beaches lies the evidence of a horrific part of history. For over 200 years it lay hidden, slowly deteriorated by time. But since 2010, after discovering a captain's log, the ship's gruesome cargo has been brought to light. More than 400 slaves en route from Mozambique to Brazil. A storm destroyed the vessel and cost the lives of more than 200 people, and the rest was sold into slavery. In 2014 and 2015, the first artefacts were brought to the surface. A collaborative effort between South African and American researchers has seen the vessel and its course through history properly documented, giving some dignity back to the lives lost. For hundreds of years, the contribution of slaves in the United States, in South Africa and beyond has been erased from our history books, erased from our politics, erased from our imaginations. We have to make amends for that erasure and centralize uh, the contribution of those people, of our people, uh, into that history. And that's going to give us a sense of where we are today and how to resolve some of the deeply entrenched challenges that we yet have. The grant will now further research into the wreck and will enable Iziko Museums to acquire much needed equipment, facilitate training and the employment of a waterlock objects conservationist specialist. It gives us an opportunity to actually advance the project considerably. Um, you know, it gives us a, a more sustainable uh, future for the project as well. And, and hopefully we can build on what we achieve with this funding um, to you know, uh, make it a, a bigger project for other shipwrecks and other people as well. Some artefacts of the Sao Jose are currently on loan and on display at the newly opened Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture in America. Mares Kabota, SABC News, Cape Town.